Hi guys, happy May Day. I just love when it turns to May. It kind of tells me that winter is finally over and that spring is really here and we can look forward to the warmer weather. I have really good news. I found a new job, so I'm so happy I can quit job hunting. And I think this new job is just gonna be great. After one week, I'm really happy with with the organization and everybody I met was just super friendly. So I'm glad I have turned that particular corner. Um, so um, this week's video, I'll be showing you some um, frugal meals that, that I've prepared. Um, and I'm also hemming one of my skirts. So um, those are the two things that you can look forward to in this video, and thank you guys for watching. This is some toast with jam, and I'm using some blackberry jam on this toast, and this is some oranges. And these are toasted bagels with some cream cheese. And I'm also having some strawberries and some bacon. And this is some toast, again with some blackberry jam. And I'm also having some oatmeal with blueberries um, and some pecans. This is um, toasted bagels with some cream cheese and I'm also having an apple. And this is um, some bagels that are toasted with some cream cheese and I'm also having some strawberries and some blackberries. Blackberries seem to be the theme of this week's cooking. These are some cowboy cookies that I made with my um, younger brother. And these cowboy cookies are made with chocolate chips and some pecans. And the recipe gives you the option of putting a few chocolate chips on top um, and also some pecans. And I think they actually look a little bit better when you put in a, a pecan and, and a few chocolate chips just to give um, kind of the, the sense of what you're going to be eating um, and I think they look a little more decorative that way. And I will be sure and um, put a link to the cowboy cookies in the description for, for you guys that want to try it out. This is one of my favorite skirts that, that I've made and I realized that it is frayed and um, the seam just is not holding up well. So um, as a way to correct this, I'm just folding down the bottom. Um, for this particular skirt, it was actually a little bit too long. So losing about an inch on the hem, not really a big deal. And lately I've been using these clips instead of um, straight pins and I really like them. Um, they're really easy to use um, and you don't have to pierce your, your fabric so I think they, they end up um, just, just being a lot, a lot nicer with what you're going to be finished with um, and they're kind of colorful and, and fun I think. So for the actual stitch what I do is on the wrong side of the fabric. I just grab a few threads and then push the needle through. And usually the first couple of, um, of stitches are a little bit hard for me. Um, but I usually get, get into a rhythm after the first few stitches. I don't know if you guys are the, are the same way, but it's like for just a moment I've forgotten how to sew. Um, but once you kind of get in the rhythm and you have that muscle memory thing going, it's a lot, a lot easier. So I'm always off to a slow start with, with my sewing. But this is the stitch that I will be using 
um, all around the bottom of the of the skirt um, and it's just an easy way to to fix a, a hem that that isn't quite looking right And thank you everybody for, for watching. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And I hope you have a really great week.